Stinky, stinky. Go, Toad! Oh, he's here! Yes! Oh, he's here! Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> my people for the last time on Twitch. Guys, what is up? Ladies and gents, I am so happy to have all of you guys here with me. What is up? What is up, guys? Get your, uh, get your unsurp cries out early because this is going to be a good night. Not a sad night. This is not the end of Twitch. This is the beginning of YouTube. But either way, I'm very happy to have all of you guys in here. Hey, look, I, I do this thing occasionally. I've been doing it less frequently as there's more people here. Uh, where I read out every person's name in the order in which they arrived. I would like to do that one final time here on Twitch. Normally, uh, when there's this many people here talking and saying hello, I probably wouldn't do this just because it takes a long time, but I think that it is important to recognize everyone here who is uh, at the very last Twitch live stream. So for those that don't know, I'm switching to YouTube live streaming after this, but this is our last uh, Twitch live stream and our first YouTube one will be on Saturday with uh, Eric Baroni, Concerned Ape himself, as well as... Little Simsy, Haboo, Brandigan, and M. But let's take it from the top tonight and let's say hello to everyone in the order in which they arrived. First person here officially tonight. The final first officially is Eater of Chairs, dude. Angry Goose shortly thereafter realizes he was just a little too late, but welcome to both of you guys. Keen is here, Simply Ed 88. Coffee Bean, what is up to all of y'all? Linda Ann says hello, hello, hello. Nick Buck, what is up, my guy, dude? Been here for a long time. I'm sure he's got some feathers to spend tonight. Random name, 23, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, who else is in here? We got... Did I say Azira already? I think I did, but Azira, what's up? Welcome. Got Azira, got a caramel's or caramel sweater. Caramel sweater, I see. Caramel sweater, welcome. Royal Rumpus, dude. Random carrot. Hello to both of you. Uh, Theophysics also subscribing at tier eight for or sorry, tier eight. Oh my god, he's supported me for a thousand dollars a month. Now tier one for eight months. Theophysics with a gasp. Man, Theo, it has been such a long time, man. Jeez. Welcome back to the Flamboyance uh, for the final time here on Twitch. Monster Icon, what is up, dude? Says such a bittersweet moment. It is, but it's okay. And happy for the change. I am as well. I'm, I'm really excited to start YouTube live stream and seeing what we can do over there. It's going to be like, we're, we're going to be, I honestly think, on the front part of a really huge wave that's coming over the next year or so. And uh, I think it'll be really fast and it's going to happen very suddenly. And everyone's going to be like, oh man, people have been streaming on YouTube since 2021 they have it so easy i don't know man it, it was hard to make the change but i'm excited for it but fly on the wall what's up welcome sarai also up in here dog d do welcome be a cry baby hello to you we got bigfoot's bff lily luwu frigid cryptid all of y'all are here welcome lerpa hartman also hello to my mom aloha seattle eight arrow uh, who else is here? Welcome both you guys. Game at Home Mom, of course, welcome back in again. Uh, who else? Who else? Gotta keep on scrolling. We got Blade. Blade, what's up, man? Welcome back here again. Uh, yeah, I bet Twitch wish they partnered you and you applied. Honestly, I was like sitting on the fence. I applied to be a Twitch partner. You need 75 average viewers. I applied the first time. I got denied. I was like, all right, whatever. I really just had the 75 average viewers from the one Concerned Ape stream. And then I applied again and I was like, hey, I average like 90 viewers and I'm also going to stream to like 5,000 people in September. Like, I think this is, I meet the requirements. And they're like, eh, apply again in another three weeks. And then I moved to YouTube. So I bet they do wish they partnered me. Trashicle, welcome back. So see you on the other side. See you on the other side. Welcome back. Did I say hi to Ali Charm if I didn't? Hello again. Uh, Budlers also welcome. I'm not sure if I said hi to you. I'm losing track. Huam Zit Zito Zitu, hello to you. What's her face? Welcome. Alex Keddy. Uh, Cutie Pie plays. Cutie Pie plays. Juanita also hello to all of you guys. Jay Fletch here as well for the final Twitch stream. Cotton Mary, Puzzle Freak, Shaban Bon, I love that. Four out of five, welcome. The Unknown is also here. Hello to you, Micah8080, Alaroda Toxin, Waste Oxygen, 
Uh, hello to both of y'all. I don't know why I keep saying y'all so much tonight. Legendary Noah says, yo, what's up, Noah? Hello to Benny Baby, as well as Sky Raven and uh, Mercurial Gremlin, and Maya and Ryomis, and Will PK also has been here for the longest time, of course. Uh, Royal Rumpus, I don't remember if I said hi to you or not either. I probably did. Uh, and Pompurin and Extraordinary. Welcome. Did I get everyone? If I didn't get everyone, say, you didn't get me in all capital letters, just like that. But I think I got everyone. There were a ton of names, so I probably missed like one or two. Which I apologize for. I didn't greet Alchemy? Oh my god, of all people, Alchemy, what's up? Welcome uh, of here for the final uh, Twitch stream as well. Guys, we got a fun schedule, of course, for our last night. This is all about us, okay? This is just you, me, and and every other person that's in the stream right now, but <laughs> Otter and he welcome. Sorry I missed you as well. I apologize. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a great stream that is just all about having fun with you guys tonight. So we are gonna kick things off with something that we did once a while back. I don't even remember when we did this last. It's called Kukoro on stream, where you guys will get to participate, sort of like Twitch plays, except you have your own little character that you're controlling on the screen. So we'll play a bunch of different mini games with that. That is a ton of fun. Then we are hopping into a marbles race. That's right. We have not done marbles for a while. If you don't know what marbles on stream is, it's like a fancy giveaway, honestly. And uh, you guys are gonna have a chance to win some stuff. We're gonna do 10 races and every person that comes in first place to that race is gonna get a month of YouTube membership over on the other channel, like when we start streaming on YouTube. So you'll have a YouTube member uh, like the YouTube member perks, all the emotes and everything over on YouTube for that first month. And then all 10 of those people will be entered into one final race where we're going to give away a uh, item from the merch store to the top two people. And so that is your little chance to win something tonight. Uh, Potato Ellie, hello to you. Hello, Jen Bun. What's up, Spark? Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah. And, to, uh, and what else are we doing? Oh, if we have time, I don't know if we're going to have time for this or not, depending on how long Kukoro and Marbles runs for. Uh, we might play some Club Penguin as well. We did Club Penguin for our 200 and 300 follower special, I think. It might have been 300 and 400. And uh, I think it was 300 and 400. 200 was the watermelon stream, I think. Uh, so we'll be doing that uh, if we have some time. And then at the very end is the Feather Frenzy. So if you've been saving up channel points for the last week or the last month or the last year or the last two years since I started streaming on Twitch and you've got a bunch of feathers, they are useless after tonight. And so I'm going to give you guys a chance to spend all of those. That's why you'll see all of the channel points are currently turned off, but they will be on for the very end as well. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of fun stuff, lots of good stream interaction. Guys, I'm going to do one quick little session where I just want to cover some stats about Twitch and then we're going to get right into it just because I kind of want to take a look back at what we've been able to accomplish on Twitch in particular since we started streaming. So I streamed for the first time, I believe, on October, no, what am I saying, on uh, April 28th, 2020. One month into the pandemic, I was watching Ludwig's stream and I was like, hey, I could do that. And so I'm pretty sure that was my very first stream. So we're going to take a look right now. I'll show you guys in one second. And you guys will see how much money I've made from Twitch. I don't care. Let's go back to the first month. Humble beginnings right here. Our very first Twitch stream, like I said, was April 28th. Streamed to an average of 2.8 viewers. I think that was me and M and Commander Root. Uh, I don't actually know... If I don't remember if NO2 Vox was in the very first stream or not. I, I actually, I feel bad. I don't remember if NO2 Vox like came to the very first stream. I think I hit the go live button just like to see if stuff worked. And I, my mentality was like, hey, I'll just hit go live. And then if anyone wants to watch, because I already play a bunch of video games, then like if anyone wants to watch, then they can. And then I got very addicted to like trying to make good stuff. Big day here. Seven average viewers. I think I played Rocket League. Did I make money that day? No, this was May 7th. Yeah. May 7th, right right here, this this stream, whatever it was. Maybe it was this day. I don't know. One of these days was my very first sub ever. It says I got paid out for it. Oh, I got $6 in bits on May 7th, uh, thanks to NO2 Vox. So that was April of 2020. I'm trying to get the dates a little bit better here. Let's go here to here. That was that first month. And then uh, this was the very first time I ever got a sub. It was right here. 
Gifted sub, May 9th, Saturday, May 9th, it looks like. I was streaming, and uh, we got a gifted sub from NO2Vox to my mom. And so let's take a look now after that. So here, starting from the beginning, let's take a look after. This This is after the summer. Uh, we'll just go the whole way. I mean, I've showed this before, so I don't want to harp on it for too long. Let's go to May 31st. So this was after one full academic year. You can see average viewers. We ended up going this far with our average viewer count. Absolutely crazy. Here are the days of like the three average viewers, something like that, uh, and getting up. Our highest we ever average was 89. I think this was when we played with Habu. I think this is a Habu raid. And I think this, right, uh, maybe this wasn't a Habu raid. I think this might have been just when we played with Bonds and Habu and everyone for the first time. And uh, yeah, I guess we did get a Habu raid because of the 200 max viewers. So that was for the first year. And then we took a really big step up in June as we had the very first time we played with Concerned Ape and you can tell which stream that was. And so that was that was just something really cool that no matter what I end up doing, streaming or making YouTube videos or anything, I will always, you know, I've always played with the creator of Stardew Valley and him and I are kind of like, we're not like friends because I've never like met him in real life and we only really talk about Stardew Valley and like business and stuff, but like, I, I'm on like really good terms with the guy who made Stardew Valley and I think that's super duper cool. So that's just been the experience of a lifetime. So big stream there. Then I had to go away for a week immediately after, which kind of stunk. Uh, and then after that, oh man, you guys think that's progress. Where are we at today? This is September 30th. Let's do year to date. So here's that big stream that was way bigger than all the other ones. And then here's the Stardew Valley Cup right there. And then there is our tiny little stream that we had with Concerned Dave. You can't even see, literally like, this is like months of grinding. Like months of grinding. And it isn't until like November where you even can see the progress right there. So that's the Stardew Valley Cup. And it, it's been great since then. So uh, yeah, this is what that looks like compared to our more frequent streams. I actually haven't looked at this like at all. I haven't looked at my viewer count since the Stardew Valley Cup. So yeah. Uh, averaging like between 100 and 200 viewers a lot of streams here which is just kind of crazy Look yeah I, I had no idea where we were at with average viewer count i haven't looked for a while but well into the hundreds now the stardew valley cup has kind of effectively doubled our average viewer counts but honestly i just uh i do it for the fun of it and uh, and making some fun content and some good videos and hanging out with you guys so yeah, that's uh, that's what we're at. That's what we've accomplished. We have had some really cool stuff here on Twitch, but YouTube is the uh, the next step. But the next immediate step for us is Kukoro Stream Chat Games. For anyone that doesn't know, these are games that you can play from the Twitch chat. You're gonna be typing. You're gonna be having a great time. I gotta turn this music off. I don't know how to do that. Oh god, it's so loud. How do I turn the music off? Music. Goodbye. All right, so this is uh, Kukoro on stream. Let me change my uh, stream category here. Oh God, I'm a bad streamer. Looking for game to capture. There we go. All right, so you guys will get a chance to join in one second here after I uh, after I start a game. But this will be a ton of fun. We've done this before. I really loved the mini games. It's a bunch of mini games. You control it by typing into the chat. Uh, I'll try to read some stuff real quick. <laughs> I uh, know, concerned Abe thinking that we're thinking that we were besties, dude. I would love it. I would love it if he thought that, for sure. Welcome, Brooke. I will say, once we start playing this, I'm not going to get a chance to read like literally anything in the chat unless you at me and I happen to see it. So please do it. It'll be like when we do Twitch plays, honestly, where it just flies by too quick. Kukoro. I always, this is like I bet I'm the only person streaming this category right now. All right, we're in there. This is going to be my character. I like the way he looks. Penitent. And that's going to be what he looks like when he runs. And we're going to do games. So there's a bunch of different games. They all say like max players, duration, all that. Uh, and how much like stream delay hurts you. So if you have the option right now between watching on mobile or watching the stream on desktop, I would recommend switching over to desktop as that will help you lag a lot less uh, we'll try to play some of the ones that the latency doesn't affect too much. Uh, but here, we'll do for this first one, I think. Sniper, shoot down your targets. Oh god, that one's so hard. Uh, we'll start with this one, because this is a really easy one to understand how this works. Alright, good job to Colta Gamer for uh, coming out here last time and winning this. Okay, if you guys want to play any of these games, this is how it always works. Here are the commands in the top left. 
And so you can just type that right in and uh, just type it right into the chat. So exclamation point Kukoro will bring you into this game. Kukoro, like that. You gotta make sure you spell it right, otherwise it's embarrassing. I don't think it's case sensitive. Yeah, it's not. I just did all lowercase. So uh, that will populate. It looks like it's got a hundred player max right now. So we got plenty of time. Uh, and then this, yes, yeah, so this is what you always look at. These are the chat commands. Exclamation point L will make you walk to the left. Exclamation point R will make you walk to the right. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the last stream actually Matt turned off repeat messages not being allowed. Uh, but I don't think, I, I think if you type R, you will run all the way to the right platform, no matter what. There's little blade. Uh, yeah, so uh, you just type left and right, and this is how this game works. You can also type exclamation point how to play, but I will also do my best to explain it here. So let's look at this one. Chat commands. So I just type WASD to move, but you guys can type L and R. So... A blade, not blade in our chat, but a different blade, will pass every 20 to 30 seconds to kill the most crowded side. Try to stay safe for as long as possible, all right? So if you see 20 people on one side and 25 people on the other side, you want to be on the side with 20 people because the blade is going to pick a side, and then after that it's going to wait like 3 or 4 seconds, and you might have a chance to like barely get over there, and then the blade's going to come down and slice everyone on the one side. So if that's not clear, we'll just run it again. Uh, there's no prize or anything for this. I'm also playing with WASD, but because I have no stream delay, as soon as the blade picks a side, then my spot is locked in. You guys can keep moving afterwards, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys will be able to keep moving after the blade picks a side. Okay, we're at 47 people who is going to come out on top of this first game. Round one. Begin. Hello? Am I not typing WASD? Oh god, I think I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck, dude. My WASD does nothing. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm super dead. So be on the side with less people right now. That's what you're gonna wanna do. And just, if you're me, you'll just hope and pray because my thing doesn't move anywhere. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Get over to the left, everybody! Oh no! Blade barely cleared it! M barely cleared it! That's crazy. All right, round two, taking out like half the people. We're at 26 of 47 right now. M barely cleared that. You and Blade running across, holding hands. And we'll, we'll play this one a couple times, so don't worry about uh, being late. All right, Blade making an early move to the right-hand side, standing right next to Linda Ann. Looks a little bit like a slug. We've also got Maddie Moo moving over, fly on the wall, Alchemy all making their way to the right, but have too many people decided to be on the right-hand side. It looks like Blade has changed his mind. He goes back to the left, and it looks like there might be some panic on the right side here. Are they going to make it across M? Oh my god, dude. M was so close both times. <gasps> Someone just ran. Wait. Oh. Oh my god. Wait. The Blade continued. Dude, the Blade continued and killed people from the grave. What is that? We're down to 12 people now, though. Butlers makes his way to the right-hand side. Blade also an early riser. He loves getting over to that side. See, too many people went over. <laughs> yeah, Blade, Blade literally, or uh, Habu walked right into the stationary sword and died. Nick says, I haven't moved. How am I not dead? That's a great question. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Nick. It might be your time to go this time now. See you later. <gasps> Blade! Dude, Blade just dodged death. <laughs> We're down to our final five. It is Linda Ann, Legendary Noah Budlers, Blade, and who is that under Blade? I can't tell. I can't tell who's under Blade right now. And Siafi. Come on, Blade, dude. Uh-oh, it's three and five. Legendary Noah makes a move. Linda Ann makes a move. <gasps> Blade, no. Blade's going to be the only one who dies here. No. His New Zealand ping, it was too much. Oh, rest in peace. We're down to our final four, dude. I don't know what happens if it's two and two. If it's two and two, good luck everyone else, I guess. Rest in peace, Blade. Potentially the fan favorite. Legendary Noah and Linda Ann both start making the move, but Linda Ann doubles back. Siafi juggling back and forth trying to figure out what is going to be the safest option. It looks like Butlers is going to be in trouble here. Butlers starts to make the run. Is it going to be enough? It's not. Legendary Noah almost runs back in there and kills himself, but he barely barely survives. We're down to our final three. This could be the final round for all we know. 
Siafi, Linja, Li legendary Noah and Linda Ann. Linda Ann with an early move over to the left. Siafi also trying to make some progress, but is quite a far way away. <gasps> Siafi, you need to continue that leftward movement. Uh-oh, this could be Linda Ann's game. It is! Linda Ann survives and wins the whole thing. <laughs> oh, that was great. Let's do that one again. That one's so fun. I want to play too. Normally, I can run left and right. Spawn streamer. Exclamation point Kukoro. If you want to be in here right now, I don't know why it's not exclamation point join, but it's exclamation points Kukoro. So go ahead, get up in here. My movement is actually working this time. I will stand a chance at winning. Remember, I have no stream delay, and so as soon as the blade picks a side, I am locked into that side. Congrats to all of our uh, top finishers last game. That was a valiant, valiant effort. Man, there's some crazy fun ones on this too. Like, uh, this is like, this is a really easy one to understand. There's some wild ones, dude. There's one, we're not going to do it because it would be impossible. We're like, there's three people who are bad guys and I have to try to figure out who they are and the chat like talks to me and tries to explain it. All right, we're getting into it. 51 people this time. A, four more peop a few more people have snuck in. God, I don't even know which side has more people right now. I feel like I want to be on the right. I don't know. I'm very scared. I feel like the left has more people right now, but I feel like me saying that is going to hurt me. Uh-oh. Stop. Stay over there. Stay over there. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm staying here. Liquid asset. Oh, what do I do? I, I still think it's the left. Oh, uh, no, I'm going over here. No, it was too late. I got trapped. I'm dead first round. <laughs> Extraordinary, no! <laughs> Extraordinary ran right into it. Oh, man. Well, oops, I'm out. It's alright, it's for the best. How many people just outplaced me and they didn't even type anything in the chat yet? Looks about even again, although now it looks like it's stacked a little bit heavier on the right side. There's 24 people left, so we could have a 12-12 split. You never know. Habu makes his way over to the right, but it does look... Like, that is the more populated side. Is he trying to outplay everyone else, though? I'm expecting a mass exodus to the left because of the stream delay. Into the sword. This might be it for them. Genbun and Blade. Oh, my God, Blade. You barely survived that. We're down to 10 people. We've got Ashieri. We got Blade. Four out of five. Genbun, Habu, Maddie Moo, Ali Charm, Ease, Unknown, and Game at Home Mom are our final 10 right now. It is a perfect 5-5 five and five split. But as I say that, Habu and Genbun trade sides and high five as they walk past each other. Habu wants another high five from Genbun and starts making his way back to the left. 4 out of 5 tries to screen him. Habu makes a movement to the right and it looks like it's going to pay off. And is Genbun going to be able to survive? She is not. She goes down right there. We are down to 6 Final contestants, Blade again was so close to victory last time but fell just short. Blade and Habu holding hands running off into the sunset. How cute. Ashieri, Game at Home Mom, both seem to be AFK. Ease? Oh, it's a 3-3 split. This could spell disaster for players right now. Who even knows what's going to happen? Is Habu going to attempt to run to the right? Oh, he does not. It looks like Ease, Game at Home Mom, and Ashieri are in some trouble right now. Oh. Luck of the draw, they got taken out. Blade, Habu, and the unknown. Honestly, I'm I'm rooting for the unknown right now. This is gonna be cra this is gonna be crazy. Come on. Dude, I hope unknown wins this one, honestly. Come on, show the pro star new players who's the real boss. It's the unknown 9872. Oh my god. Oh no, it's not. It's not the unknown 78 or 9872. Dude, they're good at every game they play. Come on, Blade versus Habu 1v1! Spam who you want to win in the chat right now. Spam their name. Do you want Blade? Do you want Habu? I'm rooting for Blade. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Habu complained about how bad my drawing was yesterday. I gotta vote for Blade. Uh-oh! <gasps> A mad dash! Are they gonna survive? Ooh! We go to another round! Dude, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh my god, Blade is the fan favorite. Habu's got something to prove. They hate seeing Habu be good at everything. Habu, lots of movement. Lots of movement from Habu right now. It looks like he centralized himself. <gasps> Blade could be in trouble right here. This could be it for Blade. Oh my god, dude. No way. Dude, absolutely no way does Blade not die there. 
Oh my god. Dude, he has to win now. Come on, Blade. Please bring this home, man. That is as close as you can get. He's had so many close encounters. Blade, get over there. Get over there. Dude, somebody move. <gasps> no way Habu wins because he's up higher on the platform, dude. What? Oh my god, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. Oh my god. Alright, we might come back to that. GG. Well played. Well played. I can respect it. That's crazy, man. Habu <laughs> type GG in the chat. Alright, hey. That was uh, the first one. We'll probably go back and play that again at the end because it's a ton of fun. But let's take a look at some of the other ones that we have. We have... Only one viewer will be able to cross the pyramid's trap-ridden antechamber. See, more things have come up since then, too. All right, this is a duration, five minutes. Max is unlimited players, so there shouldn't be an issue. It says 46, so maybe, like, five people won't get a chance to play. Oh, that one's really fun, too, but that's max of 17. I want to do the ones that have a high max number of people to start off here. God, Royal Invitation has 60 people? That one would not be good. Oh, this is 500? A stampede of characters will cross the screen. Count them all. All right, we'll do that after this. I want to. I want to see what this Pharaoh's chamber is. I don't remember playing this last time. Yeah, Super K, move it to YouTube. Go ahead. There's a YouTube video if you want to check that out. All right, let's see how to play again. Exclamation point, Kukoro to spawn in, and you can W A S D to go up, down, left, right. Or if you want to move three tiles at a time, it looks like you can go W W W to go up, up, up. And you can stop your movement. So let's see how this one plays Liquid acid. right here. So my streamer controls are WASD and R to respawn. Get to the central stairs before anyone else, avoiding the traps that you or your mates activate. You can respawn after dying or during the game to try again with a maximum of 46 simultaneous players. All right, seems uh, simple enough. I think we'll get into it. I don't know exactly how it works, but this one's kind of, we'll figure this one out. So you got to get to the middle. Got space for six more, if anyone else wants to try to get in on this absolute wild one. Yeah, I don't know where the traps are going to spawn. I also don't know how this is fair for me to be able to participate in. Spawn streamer. Jeez, I almost didn't get in. Okay. I think we'll start it right now. We might do another one of these. I don't know how this works. Oh, I died to... Something? I don't know. Oh, dude, what in the world? How are you ever supposed to do this with stream delay? Oh my god, dude, what? Okay, well, <laughs> good luck everybody else. I'm making a mad dash for it. Oh god, plus three XP. What am I getting XP for? Uh, you type exclamation point Kukoro again if you want to respawn, if you died the first time. Dude, how do you do this? Oh no, we found there's traps. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So if you step on a tile, then that reveals that there are traps there. So don't step on the tiles where traps have been revealed. That makes sense. Oh, I'm probably dead to that. Oh, it doesn't kill me if I'm down here. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go up this way. Not safe. That's a log. Dude, oh my god, there's so many traps. Where am I? I'm over here. Cool, just stepped on a trap already. Dude. Okay. Angry Goose had a path right there. I'm going to start going this way. Start going right here. Nope, M is dot. Dude, how in the world do you do this? There's got to be, like, one path that's good, right? Has anyone made any progress? Ease is making some progress. Maybe follow these black tiles. Maybe this is where I got to go. With Coffee Bean. Just you and me, editor. Let's go up here. I'll go next. Okay, not either of those. I bet there's, like, one path that works. Oh my god, dude. Honestly, if anyone beats me here, that'd be really impressive. I have such an advantage with no stream delay. Okay, that's a safe path. That is not safe. Dude, is there anything safe there? I feel like I gotta get up to where alchemy is here. This one's wild. Let's go up here. I'll go next. Fearlessly. Wow. <sighs> okay. That's a little bit of info, though. I think this is the path I want to be at. Honestly, rest in peace to the people that just keep running up and then dying immediately. I feel for you. Yeah, the tiles tell you what's going to happen, but not all the tiles say. Like, if it's never been stepped on before, then you don't know. See, how do you get through here at all?
Oh, Ease is making progress. Maybe I should follow Ease over here. I, oh, I feel so bad for the people getting wiped out by, like, the thing that's not even close to them. Alright, Angry Goose, don't worry, I'll lead the way. Cool, that's Log. Love that. I don't even see a safe path. What's going on with these people on the left? It says this is supposed to be a five minute victory. Like a five minute game. Let me go up here. I'm getting XP also. Oh, I want auto respawn on. Let's go here. Okay, that's log again. I stepped on that last time. Dude, I have no idea. Hold on, let's see. Okay, I have no idea. If no one makes any progress, we're quitting this. I feel like it's proportional to the number of people. We got way too many people up in here. This one's wild. This one is impossible. Unless you can go like WWW. No, that just sends you up three. I don't know. Wait. It's not impossible. Look at Angry Goose. Angry Goose has found the path. Wait a second. Everyone go over here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. I'm taking the lead. I'm getting up in here. I'm going to get crushed by something else. Let's reveal the path. This? This? Oh my god, there's the path. I'm going to let someone else get it, though. I want to see who can get here first. The path has been revealed. You guys know what to do. <laughs> I think there's only one path. I was wondering how this is even possible. I think there's literally one path. Snitch Witch takes the lead. Extraordinary. Not too far behind. Angry Goose did a lot of this work. Uh-oh. Angry Goose trying to make a quick comeback here at the end. Oh, no. He runs up too far accidentally. Snitch Witch takes the win. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. There's only one path. Dang, that is brutal. Snitch Witch is the winner. Congrats. That one was wild. Yeah, I don't think we played that one last time. Alright, let's try this. I feel like uh, I feel like this is you versus me. A stampede of characters will cross the screen. Count them all. Let's see what this is. Exclamation point Kukoro to play. And you'll type the number. Exclamation point and then the number. Be the first to correctly count all of the characters indicated in each round. Those who fail to answer will be eliminated after the round. So I just play from the chat. The viewer commands are uh, you just type exclamation point and then your guess. A stampede of characters will cross the screen every round. Count the correct characters before the rest of the players. Players who fail will be eliminated. Eliminating subscribers of players with Kukora can write left, right, and stop to confuse the classified players. All right, let's get it. All right, type, uh, sorry, I think I was blocking it. All right, there we go. I got to play here. Exclamation points, Kukoro. It's honestly the hardest part is just typing it to join. So don't forget, I think if you are out, you can still mess up people by typing like left and right and everything. But I think you only get one guess. Last chance to get in here, we got 41 people. There's only space for another 439 or 459. You better uh, better hurry up. Trash already making a guess of 115. Very bold. All right, let's do this thing. Oops. Right here. Street, this stream is the final one on Twitch. We're doing YouTube after this. Do not worry. The stampede is starting. Okay. Two. Easy. Three. I don't want to give away my, uh, my answer. I don't want to help you guys. You guys got to know for yourself. I think you only get one guess as well, so be careful. Is that it? Is that all of them? I guess 29. Oh. Now we typed the guess. Alright, 29. I'm locking that in. Looks like a lot of people got 29. I think this is going to ramp up in intensity. 
12? Are you... Are you trifling? Were there 12 separate people, dude? Blade said, imagine following instructions, dude. Wait a second. Oh, how many of a specific... Oh my god, you're supposed to count the specific number of those, dude. Alright. Yeah, fair enough. I deserve that. Okay, well, I... See, that's my fault for not reading it, but it's also my fault everyone else got it wrong because I explained it to people wrong. So you're counting that specific number, like that, that skin. I think it was this purple one. So this is like one, two, three of this purple one, four. You don't count all of them. You just count the one, sp the one skin that it says to look for in the beginning. We'll do this one again. Don't worry. Yes, this is the final Twitch stream ever, and we are streaming on YouTube after this. There's a whole video on my YouTube channel and uh, a command if you want to get some more info. Alright, I didn't count at all myself that time, but we're down to six people. Blade, again, in the finals. Linda Ann, also. Game at Home Mom. M is also in here. M knew? M didn't tell me. Oh, chat is unique only? Oh, no. I didn't think it was. How do you turn that off? Unique chat off. The room is not in unique chat mode. If it is, it's some different bot that I have in here messing with it. Alright, we got a guess for 5. We got a guess for 10. We got another guess for 10. 5. It was only 5. M, rest in peace. Game at home mom also up out of there. We're down to 3. Okay, we're doing this one together. Count the uh, the shirtless guy with blonde hair. Shirtless Gibby. Shirtless blonde Gibby. We're going to do this together. Liquid that way we understand it. for the next one. There's one. There's two. There's three. Shirtless blonde Gibbies. Four shirtless blonde Gibbies. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, no. You know what? I'm trifling. I think the first round it said count the number of them running a certain direction. Dude, we gotta look, we gotta read directions here. I am I'm so out of this. I, I'm not winning this one. Yeah, you can type like other things too to mess with people. I don't know what that's doing, but I think it does. Dang it, it did. It's a warm-up. It's a warm-up. Thank you, Sia. I agree. Alright, let's see. Oh, one final, one final guy. Snitchwitch and Blade both in this already. And Extraordinary, dude. You guys are killing this right now. 12 says Blade. 12 says Snitch. And 12 says Extraordinary. My guess is also 12. Completely unrelated to theirs. Good job. Let's pick up the intensity. It's getting harder every round. All of the light knights running either direction. Yeah, these are the three people in my chat. Out of all of the people watching right now, these are the three people that do know how to read, myself included. That's why they're in the finals. I've already lost count of the number of light guys. It looks like there's about 12. Exclamation point 12. Rondo game? All right. Yeah, there's, there's some bangers in here that we'll definitely do again. I kind of liked the infection one, but that one was, like, super stressful. Like, the plague. <laughs> Cobcast. Yeah, I didn't think reading was a requirement, but apparently. Gotta redeem my new skin. Oh, no, I paused it for this? I'm sorry. Oh, no, dude, I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just interrupted that round so that I unlocked the pole dancer skin. Hope that didn't mess with anyone. I should have done that in the middle of a round. <laughs> Uh-oh, 17, 18, 18, Blade. Oh no, what does he think? 18, ooh, Blade goes down. Rest in peace, he can blame the, uh, the pole dancer skin. Oh no, everyone that's going left except for those things. The Kiaras. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I suck at this. Eight, twenty-nine, 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I think it's 36 thus far. I, th I got 36, dude. I'm not confident in that, though. We'll see. Definitely more than 12. Definitely more than 12. <laughs> that one was chaos. I think you guys typing exclamation point right and exclamation point left and stuff is adding additional people. 30, says people. I think 36. 39? Extraordinary says 37. <sighs> this could be it. 39! Oh my god, Snitch Witch walks away with her second win out of four games. That is crazy. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, now that we get it, I'll run it back one more time. Go ahead, get up in here. I'm gonna stink at this. Kukoro. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be absolutely terrible at this. I've already proven that. Now that the first round doesn't knock out 36 people, we'll see how it uh, how it works out. Come on, we gotta dethrone these people, guys. The uh, the people standing on top, staying on top of everything. Can't give them too many wins in a row. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how to read. That's why I started streaming. Streaming doesn't require any reading most of the time. If you expected me to read any of this stuff, you obviously didn't watch the one time I played Slime Rancher. All right, we all know how it works now. There's 43 people up in here. Let's see. Count all of the light nights going right. The light night going right. I already forgot what the light night looks like. Um, beat. I'm gonna stay quiet. I'll let you guys count for yourself. And if you don't know, just type what everyone else types. You'll probably be right. This first round's light work. <laughs> I just refuse to read the Slime Rancher little guide thing. Alright, it was four. I'm trying to see if I can trick anyone. It's not four. It's not four. I hope I can actually guess again. I hope that didn't count as a guess. Dude, I think my four might have counted as a guess. I was trying to troll. Dude, come on. Please don't kick me out right now. Oh, thank God. I, I was like, dude, it actually, like, I typed exclamation point four before it said, and then it, po it popped up above my head, and I got really scared. <laughs> I thought I was going to be out, too. All right, rest in peace to the seven people that got that one wrong. Sorry about that. I, th I think I can handle the first, like, three rounds, and then after that, I'm beat. Everyone's coming from the right this time. All right, I'm pretty confident right now. Hopefully they don't throw any sneaky ones at us. Uh-oh, someone, Linda Ann with an early 13. If she's wrong, that's really embarrassing. <clears throat> Type your guess. Everyone thinks 13. But are they correct? Yes, they are. Woo! Oh, no. Trashicle with a 14. A couple other people timing out. Not having enough time. All people going to the right. Oh, sorry, Trash. All right. I think this is the last round I can, like, confidently participate in. Nice. It's so hard to count without just telling every single person that's watching how many there are. Oh god, I think I lost track because I was talking.
Okay, I think I've got it. Oh no, Maddie answered early. That one lonely fella there at the end. Jen thinks 18. Zach thinks 19. Looks like everyone else thinks 19 also. We got way more people in this time, obviously, than last time, so... 19 it is. Oh no! 4 out of 5. He risked it all. Could have been a dub for him right there. All the Kiaras. Whatever that is. The weird Kiara thing. M. <laughs> These are the harder ones, I think. The ones we have to count a specific skin. Oh, I don't know if I counted that one twice. I'm gonna guess based on my own counting, not what the chat says. Oh man, I think I counted the one twice. Ah, oh, dude. It's either, it's either 17 or 18. I think it's 18. It looks, oh dude, someone else said 17. Okay, I think it's 18. Uh oh, people are getting... People, people having a, having a harder time with that one. 18, dude, let's get it. We're still in there, baby. Oh, that took out a bunch of people. That took out a third of the remaining people. All right, I think this is the last one. All of the people going left except the Ridleys, except for the Gibbies. All the people going left except for the bald, or the, the blonde Gibbies. Oh no. I think I'm still good. I think I'm good, but I don't think you guys will be. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm pretty confident. Uh-oh, we got a 40. We got a 39. I think it's 39. 39, 40, 40, 1, 40. Uh-oh, it's all over the place. This is going to take some people out right now. Show me 39. Are you kidding me? Which one did I miss? No, dude. Oh my god. Wait, everyone was wrong? Everyone was wrong except for Vicky? Yo, are you kidding me? Dude, Vicky clutched up at the end. Dude, that was the last race. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so insane. Oh, Vicky. Oh, last one is for time? Why did I not win that then? I was like, dude, plenty of people put 40. Wow, nice, Vicky. Vicky clutched up at that fast one lot then at the end there. All right, what did, uh, what did Will PK say? Sprint, roleplay, Frontier, Dark, right? Rondo. Oh, Rondo's max is 17. I'll save that for a little bit. That one's too long. I like doing the short ones. Blade game is really fun. The sniper is kind of crazy, but it's kind of just luck based for me. Oh, this one's fun. Yo, this one's fun, but it's a max of 12. I think we'll, this is a short one. So we're going to run this a couple of times. Uh, and it's a max of 12 people. And so not everyone's going to get to play every game. But we'll just say, go ahead, get in a game, do a race. And then if you got in the first game, like, just, I, I don't know, just try not to be in the next one. All right, we got all 12. Look, here's what you do. You can type uh, exclamation point up to pick yourself up. You can type exclamation point hit to hit someone else down. Okay, so your people just run from left to right at a static speed. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just... Oh, oh viewers, okay. You, if you're not in this race, you can also participate. That's really important. Uh, hit other players to knock them down and help friends to get up as soon as they get up. So exclamation point up to right yourself. And the more times you get up, the faster you'll be. All right. So you get it. Uh, you run from left to right at a static speed. And other racers, as well as other people in the chat who are not playing right now, 
can uh, can type exclamation point up to up themselves, or they can type exclamation point hit and then your username to knock you down. So I think you have to do it case sensitive. So make sure you spell it exactly like this. I think, uh, yeah, complicated names do have an advantage. I think the duplicate chat is on right now. It's off through Twitch. If it's not letting you guys, let me know and I'll see if I can fix it. All right, first race, ready, set, go. <laughs> I knocked Blade down right away. <laughs> yeah, so if you're just in there, you can type just exclamation point up to up yourself. Or if you're in the chat, I think you can exclamation point up someone else to pick them up. Like right now, Blade's having a hard time. Oh, I upped Blade. I upped it for you. There you go. We got like a, a six-way tie here for first place. We're going to need to see some, some bloodshed right here. Not Pogs. Not Pogs is in the lead as, as well as uh, Lilith and Equable. Uh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm messing up names. We got a two-way tie between Not Pogs and Equ Equable. Could come down to the wire. Equable takes the lead right now in first place. No one has hit them the entire game. Can anyone spell their name? Are they going to remain untouched the entire way down? No one hit that person the entire time. <laughs> Equable Dig 261 with a complicated name is the winner right there. Poor Blade. Short name. Everyone knows who he is. How can I get up with duplicate chat? Uh, You can type up and then your name. Or you can just type something else first. What is what is blocking you? Because it's not Twitch chat. Is it Streamlabs? It, yeah, I did the same thing and it said it was already off. I don't know if that's a thing. Can I control that? I don't I think that's a Twitch thing. Yeah, I don't think I can turn that one off. I think that you have to uh I th yeah, I don't think you can turn that off. I think that's just a Twitch thing. Not Pog said I'm back after if he didn't just come in second. All right, here we go. Let's get it into our second race. We've got Trashicle. Uh, we got Diva. We got Ryomi's. We got Not Pogs. We got Gen Bun. We got Budlers. Angry Goose. Alchemy. Who is that? Random Carrot. Royal Rumpus. Butterfly Dogs and Legendary Noah. Royal Rumpus takes an early spill and finds themselves in 12th place. Trashsicle also having a bit of difficulty getting back up. I understand life is hard. Budlers falls out of our front runners as he gets knocked down to the ground. We've got a couple of other people starting to lose their chances at victory. But Devo, Pogs, and Genbun all remain untouched at this point. But Pogs pulls ahead now as uh, Devo gets knocked down but writes up immediately. And we have a new leader. It's Angry Goose 17 out of nowhere. How is that happening right now? I have a feeling that Legendary Noah is going to sneak in here though. Angry Goose going to get hit down here at the very end. I'm assuming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People trying to hit down Angry Goose. But failed, but they did get him that time. And now Not Pog finds his way back into first place. Angry Goose right behind him, though, and it looks like... Who's that win? Who's that a win for? Oh, it was Angry Goose by a hair! I didn't see it. it. says what place they're in right there. It was Angry Goose by a hair. Unbelievable. Crazy. All right, hey, if you've, uh, if you've been in before, try to give someone else a spot who hasn't been in it yet. It's okay if you get in again, but just uh, try to give everyone a chance. Someone's got to join uh, the Twitch chat here. Someone's got to join with like a barcode name with, where their name is like capital I, lowercase L, lowercase L, capital I, one, capital I, lowercase L. Like, people used to do that when I played Halo. They would, they're called barcode names and it was meant to make it so that like you couldn't call out who the other team was because all their names looked the exact same. Dang, Pogs uh, got second two times there. <clears throat> All right, it's open season. Thank you for those that allowed other people to get back in. At this point, go ahead. You can fill the remaining spots. And Pogs and KJ. We've got our next race underway. It is KJ Zombie. It is not Pogs. It is Maya. It is Enigmatic. It is Cotton Mary. It is Ease. It is Trashicle. The Unknown. Walrus Man 003 is in here down with Comcast. Uh, same. Oh, it's Game at Home Mom and uh, the Snitch Witch also in here is. <laughs> no one's gonna let Snitch Witch win this one. There's no way. After the other wins that Snitch was able to walk away with, there's no way. Trashicle in first. Enigmatic. Also in first. Maya. Also in first. 
but the unknown in absolute dead last, and it is not even close. And our three front runners all get knocked down at the exact same time. If you start pulling too far ahead, you start to become an enemy of everyone. Walrus Man finds his way into fourth place, down with Comcast, barely ahead of Enigmatic right now, and KJ, as both of them get knocked down to the ground, but as does Comcast, he gets knocked down, and it looks like Walrus now trying to stage a comeback. He moves his way from third into second into first place. Is Walrus Man 003 going to finish this, or is it going to be a sneak attack from behind? Enigmatic, Cotton Mary, all, and down with Comcast, all in the running, but it does look like Walrus Man is still in the lead, and he survives! Oh, at the very last second, he gets up in there. Unbelievable. Let's do one more of these. One more of these and I'm in here. Yeah, baby. Unsurpassable Z in lane one. Yeah, if you if you get around if you want to get around the like typical message thing, just send your command and then just type like a number or something. There's already so much spam in the chat, it's fine. We got space for two more people right now. <clears throat> Dude, my voice is going to be gone after this stream, I'm telling you, because we're doing marbles right after this. Dude, not a chance. I'm going to be commentating the whole time. All right, here we go. From top to bottom, we've gotten Cotton Mary. We got Trashicle, Royal Rumpus, Down with Comcast, Blade, Ellis. Uh, are you kidding me, dude? I'm. You know what? I'm going to up myself once, and I'm going to let everyone else up me now. Look, we need some believers. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to get targeted. Oh my god, I'm getting targeted. I don't stand a chance. Guys, up me, please. Please up on Surpassable Z. Uh, it's okay. I just want to not come in last right here. Cotton Mary, Royal Rumpus, both in first place. I gotta make up with hits. I'm gonna put you guys in charge of upping me. I'm gonna hit others. Hit down with Comcast. Hit Cotton Mary. Hit Blade. Hit MX Ellis. I'm coming for everybody, baby. Hit Ryomas, hit, Blade, he's already down, hit, Royal, Rumpus, oh god, hit Blade, no, hit, Trastical, 81, hit, Ryomas, oh, hit, Jesto, Oh, I stopped her at the last second. Ryomas comes in first place. I came in 11th. I don't know why I expected to be able to place any better than 11th right there when I'm literally streaming the game right now to all of you guys. I should have known I would be targeted incredibly. Dude, if you guys could have seen my Twitch chat and how many white names showed up from people adding me all at the exact same time. Oh my god. All right, let's do another one that has uh, unlimited players here. Roleplay Frontier? Oh, that one's kind of weird. Uh, we've done Sniper before. Viewers must grow plants to corner the streamer. No, thank you. That sounds awful for me. Quarantine, that takes too long. We've played that before. Stampede Control, we already did. Perfect Warrior, that one's kind of weird. We did that before. Royal Invitation's too insane. Okay, that one was also wild. Let's do this one, this Rondo game. We'll do two games of this. Two games of Rondo game. The way that this works. You guys will type exclamation point target and then someone else's username. And then that is going to take the ball and it's going to hit that over to them. So you want to be the last standing viewer by passing the ball before the streamer catches you. Okay? If the streamer touches the ball, then the last viewer who touched it will be eliminated. Okay? It's monkey in the middle. I am the monkey. And you guys have a giant beach ball. And you're trying to pass it around and keep it away from me. So you, if you're holding the ball and you type exclamation point target and then someone else's name, you'll pass it to them. I wouldn't recommend doing exclamation point keep. Uh, it just doesn't really help all that much. Uh, but yeah, I am trying to... Uh, if you're holding the ball and I like sword you, then that's a loss for you. So let's see who's in here then. Exclamation point keep is just uh, you keep track of the ball. Like you keep a hold of it. All right, Linda Ann, I'm coming for... Oh. I should have grabbed that one. Oh. I, I have to get it. I don't think I can catch it out of the air. I think I have to... Ooh. Oh, got her. Got Audrey at the last second. I was going to say, I think I have to, like, catch the person who's holding it. Eh. No. Oh, I'm coming for you. Come on, your eater. No. I'm going to weaken you. I don't know what weakening you does, but eater is now weakened. Oh, hey, Blade. Oh, I can't believe he got that off. 
Oh, Angry Goose intercepted. Let's get it. Oh, I barely missed that. Linda, you survived. Come on. Come on, Average. What do you want? Oh. Trying to predict. Trying to go over here. Oh, my God. A back and forth. No. I think if you... Uh, I think exclamation point target will change, like, who you are throwing to by default. But I think you'll always throw the ball unless you type exclamation point keep. Intercepted blade. Let's see. Where's Alchemy going? Alchemy goes up top. Oh, M? M barely survives. Come on. Come on, Alchemy. Are you going back to M again? Oh, I thought so. Oh, M! You should have changed your targets. <laughs> oh, easy. Easy, extraordinary. You got to do better than that. Come on. Throw it over here. I dare you. I, I dare someone to throw it to ease right now. Oh, butterfly. Didn't throw it to ease, but still. M said I was confused. <laughs> Come here, Alchemy. Oh. E's going right back here. Oh, I mistimed my attack. No. Come here, Average. Oh, dude, I'm stinking it. I'm stinking it right now. Come on, E's. Alchemy, gonna go left. I can feel it. Gonna go wide left here. Linda Ann, Average, going wide left. Average XQC Enjoyer. No one's going wide left. I was very wrong. Oh, man. This is embarrassing. Ooh, barely got that. I didn't think I had that one. Barely got ease there. Eater of Chairs has the ball. Ooh, dumps it off to Alchemy. Alchemy goes back to Linda Ann. Oh, man. I was right there. I'm going to wait right here. They're going to throw the ball right down to me. No. Come on. Yes, get Linda. No. Oh, my God. All right, average threw it like over here last time. No, it was over here. Paul, are you throwing it to Linda? No, you're not. I could have got you. I'm so slow. Come here, Alchemy. No. <gasps> Dude, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Come on. No one's even given any love to the left side of the circle here. And for good reason. I'm not over there. Oh, come on, dude. I want to bully these people down low. How is that not a hit? I did everything. Come on, average. Go left again. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Snitch, you're going to go over here. Oh, dude. Back to Switch. Back to Pog. Finally, dude. Okay, I have to get it when it's in the air. I'm not doing great, Kenzie. It is great to see you, though. Oh, Linda. Spawn kill on Linda. Love to see it. Come on, Pog. Oh, you barely. You barely live. Oh, slow. Come on, Pog. Oh, easiest, easiest catch of my life. Pog, you gotta do better than that. Come on. Come on, Alchemy. Play my game. Eater, where are you going? Alchemy, back to random again. Back to Eater. How do I get it? Dude, come on. They have a little three-person uh, three rotation right now that I can't keep up with. There we go. Eater of chairs. <laughs> Random said, ah, help. Carrot, are you going back to alchemy? Oh, you should have switched it up. I knew your order. We're down to our final five right now. We got average XQC enjoyer, enigmatic, zombie, walrus man, and alchemy. Walrus man's going back left. Zombie going up top. No. Who's alchemy going to? Ooh, go alchemy's going to the graveyard. That's where alchemy's going. Pog said, let me live. Dude, average XQC enjoyer up here in the world by himself. No longer. Enigmatic, come on now. All right, we're down to our final two. Who's going to get screwed over right here? Come on. Oh, I think it's zombie. <laughs> Walrus man takes home the dub, dude. Very nice. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, good job, Walrus. Good job, everyone. Hey, we'll do one more. If you got in on the last game, I'd say uh, give someone else a chance to get in. We'll do this one one more time. Walrus Doobie Walrusin. Good job, man. And OG takes home the dub. Lilith, Riomis, Jess Doe, Into the Quasar, Royal Rumpus, Game at Home Mom, Nick, Buck. Who's that up top? Eater of Chairs. Who else is going to be in this game? Trashicle finds their way back in. 
Sarai, welcome back. Hello, hello. Uh, I don't know if you can leave. It's okay. Just stay. That's fine. I just don't want the same people to, like, instantly join and not give other people a chance to join. It is still possible. Exclamation point Kukoro for this one. This one's fun to play. Yeah, you guys can get in again. I just didn't want the same people to, like, just steal a spot before other people who hadn't played yet got a chance to get in there. Yeah, you guys are good now. Thank you. <clears throat> We're at 14. We got three more. Two more spots. I don't know what stabbing people does. Oh, I started it. Okay, we're down two extra spots. That's fine. I just wanted to stab someone in the waiting screen. KJ, where are you going? I feel like you're going across. Oh, no, you're going literally right next to him. See you, Lilith. Sorry. Life comes at you fast. Royal Rumpus? It's a Game at Home Mom. Game at Home Mom? To Butterfly Dogs. Butterfly Dogs to Unsurpassable Z. Nope. To Trashicle. Oh. Dang it. Dude, I try to be, like, right next to people and then spawn kill them. Like, trash right there. See ya. Nick Buck. Ooh, barely survives. Justo. Oh, barely. They're dropping like flies this game, baby. I'm getting nice with it. Legendary No is going to Game at Home Mom. <gasps> Game at Home Mom goes to Butterfly Dogs. Nope, I was wrong. They changed it. Blade? You troll. I, I can't believe this guy, dude. <laughs> Blade, the only person to type keep the entire game. <laughs> Eliminated. <laughs> oh. Oh, down with Comcast talking trash on Nick Buck right now? <gasps> dude, Legendary Noah just cheated death twice. All right, Nick, your time has come. Oh. No, dude. That was probably so scary for your butterfly. No. Oh, come on. Come on now. Playing the middle game. Dang it. I, I try to like predict. What does weakening do? Weakening doesn't do anything! Dude, I, I hit Blade. He had it. Oh, there we go. Spawn killed. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, zombie. That was so close. Butterfly? Who's he going to? Who's the legendary? Oh, Noah has been going to Angry Goose for a while. I got a snipe. Butterfly's going to Legendary Noah? Yeah, now Legendary to Angry Goose. <gasps> no! Switched up to Blade. Blade was right there, though. Oh, Zombie tried to target Blade. Oh my god, Blade's gonna survive this round again. Come on, Legendary. Finally. Finally got Legendary Noah out of there. Blade? Blade right back to Angry Goose. I read the chat. I'm sorry, Blade. I read the chat and saw who Blade was targeting. I didn't mean to do you like that, Blade. It was so unfortunate. <laughs> Absolutely sniped. Oh, game at home, Mom. You gotta try better than that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ryomi's an angry goose. Could have a nice little, like, back and forth going. I'd never be able to stop it. We're down to our final four. Eater of chairs, not Pogs, who I don't think has gotten the ball once this whole game. Ryomi's angry, angry goose. They are having the back and forth until I get in there. Come on. Come on, cowards. I'm weakening you. Oh. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> I killed the man. Okay. <laughs> He's got health, apparently. Angry goose, you're going to die now. Absolutely targeted right there. Angry <laughs> Goose, I'm sorry. Oh my god, Pogs takes the win. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Angry Goose didn't stand a chance. Absolutely targeted. <laughs> Says why? Oh my god, that's so good. Alright, are there any other ones you guys want to do one more time? The other ones are like longer. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We could do the Blade one one more time if you really want to, but... 
The other ones are too long, and we got some other stuff I want to do tonight still yet. That was really fun. Werewolf takes too long. That's like Mafia. That's a 15 minute game. You have to like actually like read what people are saying and chat a bunch. Feather Frenzy is the last thing we're doing at the very end of the night. All right, we'll do Blade in honor of our Blade. We'll do one more, one more game of Blade here. Spawn streamer, baby. Let's get it. I'm taking home the dub. <laughs> Everyone says Blade, Blade, Blade. Kukoro. I think the racing one's fun too, where you can like hit people down. It's so not competitive, but it's really funny. <clears throat> Alright, we're at 31 right now. Let's do it. This is the last game. We got our people up in here right now. I gotta survive. Oh, there's way more people on the left right now. Keep me on the right. Everyone's gonna come over here to the right now. Go left, go left, go left. Yeah, look at them all go. The stream delay. Absolutely baited. Oh god, no. It's... Oh, back to the right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh no, our warrior bl- oh. It paused. It gave people another chance. I can't believe it. The blade paused immediately. Dude. Ever, it's like 10 people just, che just uh, cheated death right there. That's wild. Dude, Sarai barely died. Alright, left has less people right now. There's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, get me over here. I oh my god, I think it's 10 and 10. No, I'm trifling. It's 9 and 11 right now. Oh no. Mass exodus to the right-hand side. Alright, I'm safe. Is anyone going to make a last second adjustment? Royal Rumpus. Oh no. Royal Rumpus made it back towards the left, but then ran back into it. <laughs> I'm in the final seven, baby. Let's get it. Eater of chairs and zombie and myself on the right. Oh, this is going to be so close. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to be on the side with four no matter what. Now get me over here. Come on. Zombie stay over there, please. Yes. Oh, come on. You can come back over now. I don't care. Oh, zombies running deep into the danger zone. Linda and... Oh, my God. No way do they all survive. Oh, my God. You guys were spared. You guys were absolutely spared. Yeah, if you're watching on mobile, you don't really stand a chance in this game, unfortunately. You can just kind of guess. Dude, you guys got so lucky with that blade. All right, it's four and three right now. I'm very scared. Oh, that was a fast one. Dude, I'm going to survive. Ooh, no such luck that time. We lost four. It's me, Nick Buck, and Zombie. Can I win one of these games tonight? Let's find out. Oh, God. Keep me away. Dude, I just know whatever's going to happen, they're just going to... One of, one of these people is going to run to my side. Oh, come on, please. Please, right now, right now. Yes! Oh my god, I'm safe. Please kill zombie. Oh, thank god, dude. It's gonna be a 50-50 with me and Nick. I could cheese this and just stay with Nick and hug the top wall, but I'm not gonna do it. I'll stay on his elevation, and I'll run left and right appropriately. Because the blade's gonna hit Nick first if I stay up top. <gasps> Nick? You better start running. My guy, Nick! Nick's asleep at the wheel, baby! Unsurpassable Z takes it! I finally got a win in my own game. I can face the power that is Nick Buck, dude. Let's get it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, dude, Nick just fell asleep for the very last round there, dude. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> don't say no. You're supposed to cheer when your streamer wins. Come on. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. We'll do one more Blade game while I go to the bathroom. And then we're going to do marbles. We're going to do a giveaway after this, okay? So I'm not going to spawn myself in here, uh, but we're going to do a giveaway using marbles after this. So stick around if you want a chance to uh, win a YouTube membership of my channel or a piece of merch from my store. Top two people from the uh, the marbles game are going to get some merch. 
which is really cool. So I'm going to make an announcement after this too. All right, I'm starting it. Sorry if you didn't get in. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, I come back to mass murder on the left side. We're down to our final nine. Lily Luwu tried to run to the left side and gets smacked down, but barely dodges it. Who is the great plushie behind me on the TV? This right here? Boop. This is my bear. I forget what his name is. He's the Steelers bear. To prove that I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. What is his name? I don't even remember. I don't even know if we named him. <laughs> Poor Jess. Looks like we're down to our final four. That was a brutal sword right now. We're down to Audrey, Rayomis, Ale, and Walrus Man. Dude, could Walrus Man take home his second win? Who knows? Shirtless Gibby makes their way over to the left. Aleth, not too far behind. We've got a 2-2 split right now. What's going to happen? We're not playing Stardew tonight. No Stardew tonight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this could be the vi this could be the very end. Oh my gosh! Ale had everything going right, and then they died at the very end. Ryomis takes it home. We got Feather Frenzy coming in last. Don't worry, guys. You'll have a chance to use your feathers. Sorry, I don't want to repeat myself all night, so I'll just say that's the last thing we're doing. Feather Frenzy. Alright, hey! That's it for Kokoro. We got more stuff we gotta do though. Next up is marbles. Marbles is going to be a blast. Let me pull it up real quick. M, you want to make an announcement in the uh, the Discord? Go to the announcements channel, M, and do... Uh, uh, do we want to add everyone for this? There's a thousand people in here right now in the, in the Discord now, which is actually crazy that that many people just joined. We went up like 300 members on Discord simply because of the, uh, the uh, community farm video, which is doing really good right now. Thank you, Azira, for the remainder of your bits. All 210 of them. I appreciate it. Take the rest of my bits. Thank you. Gladly. All right, let me load up marbles here. It's taking forever. This is very fun. You can't do marbles too often, though. I agree. It's also one of my favorite things that I stream. You can't do it too much, though. So for those that don't know what marbles is, it is basically like a way of doing a giveaway. I'll explain how it works then. Pretty much all you're going to have to do is type exclamation point play and you'll get in on it. Change my stream category. Oh god, I just opened Photoshop. Accidentally. Alright, I'll make an announcement real quick. So I'll, I'm going to do at everyone. Almost did at Lily Woo Woo. Okay, at everyone. Marbles race for uh yeah marbles uh should i do add everyone i don't even know i i will this uh it's like it's like only the i don't know i don't know if i want to add everyone right away i'll just put it in the announcements more I'll, I'll put it in the announcements but i won't add everyone i want to give the people who are here right now a better chance of winning marbles races right now for unsurpassable z merch I'll just put it in the announcements channel. Wow, Koji with another 300 bits. Thank you, Koji. And Lilith with 500 bits. Thank you for the bits, guys. I appreciate it. My final bits that I'll be getting. Then we got our final hype train that we're ever going to have on Twitch going right now, too. All right, let me, uh, let me switch over so you guys can see marbles. Let me see. I'll put myself here 
want to put the chat under me again. Let's do this scene. Sorry. Forgot I don't have a marble scene. Gotta make one real quick. Which won't take long at all. Marbles. And then I will get rid... I'll turn that on. There we go. This should be good. I don't think I'm covering anything. I might move my face cam then. Alright. God, I don't even remember how this operation works. Let's do customize. No, it's home. Race. Race. And I want standard. On We're going to do endurance test. And we're going to do... Oh, we got to do viewer. I think I have to connect. Twitch. You're logged in. Login successful. Now we can do viewer races. Doesn't matter the max number of people. Race. All right. Hey, here's how this is going to work. For those that don't know how marbles on stream works. And Kenzie, thank you for the 900 bits. Has got to get that 1K bit badge before you go. Kenzie, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think controller is also easier to work the camera with. So I'm going to do that. So long story short right now, to participate, type exclamation point play and you'll get in here. This is just a really like complicated what way to pick a winner of something, right? So when you type exclamation point play, you're going to join and you're going to have a little marble right here that has your name above it, okay? And uh, I'm going to type like start or whatever and all of the marbles are going to race down this really long track and the first marble to make it to the end is the winner. What we're going to do, we're going to do 10 individual races. The winner of every race is going to win, first of all, they're going to just win a, uh, a tier one to my like YouTube subscription. Like uh, it's called a membership on YouTube. So they're going to get uh, their first month of our YouTube membership for free uh, for the, all 10 people that win these individual races. But the 10 people that win are also going to be entered into one final race where first place is going to get... Uh, their pick of an unsurpassable Z, anything from the merch shop, including like a sweatshirt or anything. And then second place is going to get any t-shirt that they want from the merch shop. All right. Um, the way, also the way it's going to work, YouTube has no gifted memberships. So just straight up, I'll just tell you, I will PayPal you the amount that it costs. It's not a lot because I have my membership set really low, but I just wanted something on the line. Uh, so you have to have PayPal to be eligible for the payout. Uh, you do not have to have anything in particular for the merch uh, but it's okay. We'll figure all that out with the people that win. We got 63 people in here right now all ready for a chance to win. We got to get rid of this music and we of course got to do what we always do, which is the Halo music. All the Halo hype music. One hour of epic Halo music. This is our marbles, our marbles soundtrack. And I think I can time this also to see how long the songs are. So the average finish time on this is like a minute and 54 seconds. So I think I could pick a song. That is like a minute and 54 seconds. Like, let's do this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And our marbles are off for the first time in so, so long. How do I go up and down? There we go. In the front of the pack is Dog D Doo, but it is still, seriously, a giant clump up right now. Audrey starts to find a little bit of separation, whereas Alex is in the very back of the pack. Swirling around now in the initial funnel, I like to call this obstacle the lower intestine as our competitors are attempting to get into this down low area, and it looks like Random Carrot is the first person out, followed shortly thereafter by Audrey. Hitman, PCG Matt, Coffee Bean, all opting for the right path, but Bit Scrunchy and Azira go down the left. There's plenty of obstacles remaining that could trip up our competitors, though. We can see there's still a huge number of people that haven't even made it out of the funnel yet. Audrey's still holding down that first place position, but Random Carrot closely in second place. It looks like those people that made it out earlier on the right path did advance pretty quickly. The pegs giving Audrey a little bit of trouble, and she gives up her first place spot as Random Carrot takes over in first place with Hitman very close behind. PCG Matt, Azira, and Coffee Bean 216 all hugging very close to each other right there. But it looks like Hitman and Random Carrot might have bumped into each other a little little bit. We got Bit Scrunchy. We got Bloop also somewhat in the running. Whereas in the very, very back, we have players like Ryomis and Keen M with almost absolutely no chance of winning this round. How embarrassing that is for her. Let's return back to the front now. Audrey still our front runner. PCG Matt also not too far away. Azira and Coffee Bean. Oh, Coffee Bean makes it through, but our other players end up getting a little tripped up right now. Audrey still has the clear lead about one loop turn ahead of the competitors, but Doggy Doo and Katie Victoria not that far behind. 
Let's see, Matt77 also finds his way into the first spiral level. Uh, we have Audrey coming out first. Let's keep up with Audrey right now as she enters the bump zone. Bump zone gives her absolutely no problems, but this could be dangerous. Oh, hits a very good cycle right there and starts to find some separation. This could be the very end of the race for, Aubrey, or for Audrey, and it looks like Audrey's going to have no trouble rolling in here to the very end. An absolutely clean finish from Audrey should get the job done, provided there's no major mistakes here at the end, but it looks like that is going to do it. Audrey is our winner of the very first race, and Coffee Bean comes rolling into second, but honestly, it wasn't even that close. Amazing, amazing performance right there. Wow. How about that? Our final competitors still rolling in here. Let's take a look into the back. i just like to take a moment to appreciate who is just doing particularly poorly. Game at Home Mom. Not your best performance as a Twitch viewer, unfortunately. It's okay. Life happens. Looks like you might be able to find some more luck, though, as Butlers and Trashicle continue to get caught up. Will PK. That, that's just sad. Will, this is not your first Marbles Rodeo. This is like your third or fourth Marbles Rodeo. I really expected more out of you, Will. Unbelievable. Audrey is the first place finisher right there. A, a relatively uneventful first race. Audrey got that lead early and just hung on the entire time. <laughs> Very nice. I will write down Audrey's name. And uh, I will also say Audrey is eligible for multiple entries into the final race. If you win, you can enter again. Have no fear. Let's check out a random track. I like the ones that have a lot of failure, where there's like a lot of potential to die at the very end, at the very end, but it's it's hard to tell. I don't know the maps all that well. Choo choo. Wow, the final hype train. <clears throat> All right, this average completion time is a minute and 28 seconds. We're going to need a fast one right here. A fast Halo song. Oh, it's this one for sure. Brothers in Arms. Okay, I got the music synced up. I'm just about ready to go. We've got 64 marbles in. And away they go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, they're off. Uh-oh, it's lagging. There we go. Nick Buck absolutely flies down the middle, lets everyone know this is not his first rodeo, and he wants to make sure everyone is aware, but Blue Banjos also has been here before. Down with Comcast, a lot of big names in the chat start to make their way down the actual lower intestines. I should have called this one the lower intestine. Look at that. Nick Buck gets caught up a little bit at the end here, but he should still be the first person to get out. He's going to need to find some speed, though, if he wants to get past Jen Bun. Jen Bun giving Nick some problems right now. Also, in the front, Bobby Joe is taken. Brandon, get by the way is in here dog do linda and blue banjos down with comcast all of our competitors putting up a great fight up the elevator lift let's check in with our very last competitor right now he is very good at stardew valley but marbles is not his strong suit as blade has been absolutely left in the dust how embarrassing nick buck finds his way to the front of the pack finds some separation from jen bun and starts to make his way into the bingo ball separator picker thing whatever that's called nick buck could get caught up here he's gonna need to find his way out of here relatively quickly and he does if he wants a chance to maintain this lead got a couple of our other competitors starting to catch up now but honestly nick made a very clean transition out of that first obstacle but this could spell disaster for nick as the scissors the scissors could end up ending his career thankfully it looks like there is a lid on this one so he's not going to get knocked off the course but oh <gasps> nick hits an absolutely
Oh my gosh. Very nice, Linda Ann. Get spot number two in our finals. Let's uh, let's go back to the main menu. I want to pick a, a racetrack myself. I want to pick one that's a little bit longer. Let's do the gauntlet. I think we've done the gauntlet before. What's the, isn't there like completion rate? There's percent played. I want to see like what the completion rate is for these maps so I can tell how dangerous they are. We'll do this. It's all right. The gauntlet. This is a really fun stream, but it's only fun to do if you do it every once in a while. It has been a long time since I've done it. Like, I do agree. I should do it more frequently. All right, looks like the record on this is two minutes, but I think the average time is like three minutes. I don't, actually, I think this is like our personal best. So I don't think we've ever completed it. So let's do uh, let's do like a three minute song here. Let's do unyielding. All right, 62 marbles are in, looking for their chance at victory. Race number three is underway in 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this is the good song. I should have saved this for the end. This is like the iconic Halo song. I gotta turn it up a little bit. We're in the spin cycle. This obstacle that has given many of our players both trouble before, but also a competitive edge. If you can make it out of here early, it sets you up very well for the rest of the race. Let's get a Marbles POV right here. We'll fly down and follow along with the unknown 9872. Uh-oh, he's having some trouble. We're moving on. Walrus Man in the front of the pack. Walrus Man has not been a stranger to marble races in the past. Has walked away with quite a few wins of his own along with the rest of the Man Clan. Maya and Walrus doing an absolute dance, but Maya gets a little tripped up and loses Maya's uh, first place position. Wait, what's a face? And Wanhita both shooting into first place right now. Lily Luwu also. Angry Goose, a couple of our competitors really taking advantage of a boost pad right there is going to give them a much better chance of winning. Walrus Man stays consistent though and stays towards the front of the pack. The, fi the finish line is still a rather far way away, but we got What's-Her-Face here. We got Wanhita. These pegs could spell disaster for our competitors. Is What's-Her-Face going to be able to make a clean transition? The peg, I'm not sure if that helped or hurt, but it looks like Wanhita is off the map, losing out on their chance at winning. Jen Bun falls down to the lower level. What's-Her-Face also falls, but Angry Goose falls with a little bit more velocity, and now all of a sudden Angry Goose is in first place. <gasps> Ooh, but hits the split right down the middle, and that's going to kill a lot of the momentum. That one really hurts to see. What's her face going down the left path? Angry Goose down the right. We got Walrus, Bookmer, Maya, Matt77, Keen, and a bunch of others making their way here. And now it looks like What's Her Face is still in first, but Angry Goose not far behind at all, as well as Zombie and Maya. Zombie made a name for themselves earlier tonight during our Kokoro games. Are they able to make a name for themselves in another game that doesn't matter? What's her face? Still in first place here. It looks like there's a bit of a straightaway. Not too many chances for death, but there are a lot of chances to lose your momentum on these pegs, and that's exactly what happens to What's her face? Zombie is trying to catch up right now. That's a very dangerous turn if you're not too careful. If you have too much speed, you could lose yourself right there. Shout out to Eminem. What's her face? Now in a 1v1 battle with Zombie, these pegs could be the end for either one of our competitors. It looks like they both get tripped up there a little bit. Zombie makes a relative relatively clean transition and hits the launch, but misses the landing zone. What's her face? Manages to, make, manages to make the clean transition. Angry Goose flirts with danger, but also survives. It looks like this is going to be What's Her Face's battle to lose. And I think that that's going to do it right now for What's Her Face. As Keen tries to make one last ditch effort to fly in there. But What's Her Face survives. Lily Luwu comes in second. Angry Goose comes in third. But let's not forget all the way in dead last. We've got Lilith. And we've also got who is this back here. Let's call him out by name. It's none other than Bearman001. He's been here for over a year and a half nearly of Twitch streams. Yet he still hasn't figured out how to do well in my marbles competitions. Unbelievable. Mercurial Gremlin takes a spill at the very end, absolutely fed up with their performance during that race. <laughs> Bearman 001 for it to win. Oh my god, man. Taking a look at our top 10 right now, it does look like we had uh, DJ Lele, Justo, Bookworm, Maya, Maddie Moo, Blade, 4 out of 5, Maya. Angry Goose, Lily Luwu, and What's-Her-Face. Blade filed his way into the top 10 right there. It was a little 
A little concerning watching his performance at the beginning of last race, but it looks like he's starting to get the hang of things. We'll see if he's able to continue that now as we get into our next race. What's her face? Takes home the win. All right, we're using this song because this song's like a banger. This song is like two minutes and 30 seconds long. So we're going to do the lucky few. Oh, the lucky few. This sounds like a bunch of people are going to die. I love this. Oh, I absolutely love this. All right. I can't see any of you to start. Oh, wait, did we do this one already? This is the one we did. Do not join. Do not join. Back out. We already did that one. Let's find another two and a half minute one. Temple of Steve. I don't know who Steve is, but he seems like a nice gentleman. Do not become discouraged. It is still anyone that has a chance to win any of these races. Even if you've done terrible for all of the previous ones, you still have a really good chance. Just as good of a chance as anyone else to get in. Even on the last race, we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen in the past where players that find no success for most of the races, get in there in the very last, they qualify their last available chance. It's a beautiful story, honestly. Many times those players will go on to be on programs like 60 Minutes and they'll talk about how inspiring they wish to be for future generations. We got 56 marbles. Jammin' Jimmy 49 is in here. God, you'll love to see it. <laughs> Josiah, welcome. I'll give you guys your last couple of seconds to get up in here now. We're at 60, and I think we're about to start. 61, Hitman squeezes in there at the very last available second. And we are off to the races at 4, 3, 2, 1, begin. A familiar obstacle for all of our competitors. The Swirly Whirly. From now on, this will be called the Belly Button. Agvalen, Eater of Chairs. Both separate themselves from the pack a bit. Katie Victoria also in a different spot. We have a 1v1 race for first place right now. Katie Victoria also finds their way out relatively early. Competitors just getting warmed up right now. This obstacle right here, which we are going to call the Spin Cycle, absolutely looks like an easy obstacle, but you're going to see exactly why it could give competitors a really hard time, just like Eater of Chairs was on pace to be in first place, but now is knocked all the way back with the rest of the crowd, whereas Agvalin got a lucky cycle and is now separated from the rest of the pack. This is very good if you are Agvalin. We're going to see who is, might be given uh, some challenge to Agvalin here in the front. We got Matt77 and DJ Lele, as well as Blade, Pog, and Zombie as well as some others not too far behind. We've got a spin cycle looks like either way you go, you're really going to want to stick in the direction that it is spinning as Katie Victoria did right there because if you go opposite, you do really risk a lot of time loss. You do not want to get caught on the wrong side of a spin cycle. Agvalen and PCG Matt and Matt77 holding down the left side here, but Blade, Brandigan, and Katie holding down the right side. Agvalen still has that really early lead, but this could be a little troublesome. Actually, it is the opposite. Agvalon gets a huge boost right there. Not like it was needed anyway, though, and we're already approaching the end of this track. This is amazing how quickly and how, how efficiently Agvalon has been able to make his way through this obstacle course. Oh, but this, this could spell disaster. It does no lead is safe with a finish like this. Agvalon is going to have to accurately time the descent into the final goal, and it's not looking great. It looks like the goal might end up moving right now. Oh! <gasps> Things are not looking good for Agvalon. Uh-oh. Agvalon finds the way through the hole, but it's gone. PCG Matt also misses out on his opportunity. Oh my god, it's anyone's race. Everyone's catching up right now. <gasps> Miss Max barely misses it. Enigmatic also barely misses it. Who is it? Jammin' Jimmy beats Blade by a second. Unbelievable. Jammin' Jimmy sneaks his way in there. Dude, I can't believe Josiah just, like, just sniped that one. Valen, I'm so sorry you were so far ahead. Dude, Jam and Jimmy barely takes Blade's photo finish. Wow, dude. Wow. Man, if you guys knew Jam and Jimmy in real life like I do, that'd be way funnier to you. Josiah, he takes it out of all 60 people. That might have been the first race he did. I didn't see him in any of the other ones. Let's check in with our final competitors. Brandigan, what happened? You were in the lead there. You were like one of the top five. 
Oh, Brandon. Brandon was literally one of the top five. Now he's like coming in at the very end. It's all right. As long as you finish the race, that's what matters. Oh, Mombasa Sweet. Should we do that for the next song? It's a Halo Reach song. Snitch Witch, are you going to be the final person? No, you're not. All right. We don't talk about that. Jam and Jimmy, dude. Wins race number four. Can you believe it? <laughs> Very nice. Jam and Jimmy, an excellent, excellent performance. Dude, Blade has been working his way up the leaderboard, though, honestly. All right, let's find what song do I want to use? That's a long one. Winter Contingency? Yeah, we'll use that. That's a Halo Reach song set. I think it's a long song. 47 minutes. Yeah, we got like a three and a half minute race we're looking for now. Castle Siege. Dude, I'm so sorry for all the people that made it to the end and then died. I love those, though, where it's, like, not guaranteed even if you're way ahead of everyone else. I always like, like, having a chance to, like, stage that comeback at the very end. The underdogs, man. I root for them. Pog says I'm not trying. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's a very skill-based thing. If you found no success, you're obviously... Yeah, you're better off not trying. Of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, he still did play. All right, 60 marbles in right now. But only 61 marbles in. 62 marbles in. And yet the spirits of 61 of them will be crushed during this race. Brandon, I read that and I'm going to hold you to it. Our players start off on their journey in this castle, castle siege. Miss Mags finds the way to the front. I don't know what that is right there. I have no idea what's going on with that orange thing. I'm a little scared of it, though. Oh my god, there's like whole meteors falling right now. This is terrifying. Miss Mags way in the lead. Real Spank 001. Yeah, baby, it's good to see you. Real Spank, I hope you bring one home for the man clan. He's in second place. Enigmatic also in third. Eater of Chairs, Sarai, Katie Victoria all towards the front. We got Alchemy in the dead last with Matt 77, Royal Rumpus, and Bobby Joe is taken. All had some meteor trouble right there. And a bunch of people in the middle of the pack. Miss Mag's still in first, though. Jeez, this is such a long straightaway. The castle siege is underway. Is this just one straight shot? Oh my god, dude. How are you supposed to ever catch Miss Mag's here? Oh my god, this might just be Miss Mag's win. <laughs> Last place, gang. Dude, is there anything up here? I think this is just like a brutal, like, straightaway and try not to get hit by meteors. Oh. Dude, not Pogs. Dies. I did say it was anyone's game right there, but Pogs does seem to be having some difficulties now. This Castle Siege, uh, as long as you... Barring any major meteor hits, this looks like it's going to be Miss Mag's win. Sarai and Enigmatic ready to snatch up that uh, that first place position, though, if Miss Mag's gives it away. But it looks like they actually are all going to get caught up, whereas Miss Mag's has less of an issue, as Mag's is so far ahead of the rest of the competition. I, I think this might just be it. I, I think this might just be a, a runaway victory for Miss Mags. All you have to do is survive this last little stretch. I don't see anything changing at this point now. And wow, with perhaps the most boring marbles race I have ever done, Miss Mags casually rolls in a straight line uninterrupted into first place. All right, Mags, good, good win. Eater of Chairs also coming in in a second. PCG Matt get caught up right at the very end. How tragic. A moment of silence. Can we get some Fs in the chat for PCG Matt and his tough performance? <laughs> wow. I'm going to save that song for the last one. Let's do... Uh... The Menagerie? I don't even know what that word means. It's like a three minute song. PCG Matt did eventually find his way into the final spot right there after the rocks despawned. Oh my god, M. M, what is happening to you right now? Come on. M just M just fell off the map. Oh, it's the it's the kill barrier. M was so slow she got killed by the kill barrier. Let's stick in with Alchemy right here. It is a race against the kill barrier. Is Alchemy going to be able to survive this one, or is the Kill Barrier going to catch up? It looks like Alchemy's got enough speed, but it would be so, so embarrassing if Alchemy were 
to die in this final stretch, but that would never happen, right? All right, good. Just wanted to put some pressure on it. <laughs> poor Lerpa, poor M. All right, that's our uh, fifth person. We're halfway through our qualifying rounds now. A couple people did not manage to finish that race. How sad. We're going to do the boomerang as our last one because the average completion time is eight and a half minutes. We'll do that for the final race. <clears throat> Let's scroll to the very bottom. Marble's Diner. Exclamation point play. You know the drill, people. Do not give up. Those that do not give up are destined to win. I'm pretty sure Master Uguay said that. I don't know. I've never seen Kung Fu Panda. My only experience with Kung Fu Panda is that my uh, my roommate's gamer tag was uh, Master Uguay for a little bit when we played Rocket League. Oh, Brandon, I want I gotta DM you after this. Please remind me. Can you send me, Brandon? Can you DM me right now just so I remember to message you? <clears throat> I know so much about that movie though for having never seen it. All right, we got sixty four is the most we've ever had in a single race. Sixty five. People are feeling the hype. Three, two, one. And our racers are off. Hiyori Chi finds their way down the left side, but Llama Bunny absolutely flying through the Plinko machine. Sarai also one of our front runners, but Llama Bunny gets a little bit caught up in the car wash. Jesto also, oh, no one gets a particularly clean cycle. If anyone were to hug the side, they could get out of here pretty quick. As Maria Noel does, it looks like. Maria Noel did manage to get a little bit of a, uh, a gained position from that. We're going to see we're going under the diner now. I like the aesthetic of this. Not so sure how I feel about the actual obstacle course. Doesn't look like there's too many chances for failure, which I always love when people fail when they're way ahead. En Enigmatic out of nowhere. Shoots his way around the outside with a bunch of velocity. I have no idea where that came from right there. Unbelievable. Looks like we got a bunch of people here in a close pack of second place runners. Wow, that was very cute. Look at that. In absolute sync. But it looks like Enigmatic is way too far ahead. We're going to have to keep up with Enigmatic here. I'll try to keep the camera on everyone else. But really, I mean, this is such a commanding lead. Oh my god, Enigmatic going back and forth through the bouncy machine like it's nobody's business. And gets a little caught up, but does get deposited on the other side without too much issue. We're going to see Enigmatic has such a commanding lead right now. I would really hate to be Zombie at this moment or PCG Matt or Matty Moo. How sad. In the very, very back. Now, it looks like this should be a relatively straightforward finish for Enigmatic, barring any deaths. But it does look like there's some potential for death right here. Hopefully, Enigmatic is able to stick this jump right now. Gets launched off to the side into the funnel and makes a very clean transition. Whereas, man, Enigmatic is leaps and bounds ahead of everyone. This could be really, really bad for Enigmatic, though. This looks like an obstacle that could really get you caught up for a while if you're not careful. Enigmatic seems to not be having too much issue, but it's definitely not as fast as we'd like to see. Is he going to make it past? Oh, he barely does. Unbelievable. He's going to drop down right here. Hopefully he doesn't get launched off the map. Oh, still a very slow ending right here. Random Carrot has a chance to catch up, but still. Enigmatic has such a commanding lead right now. Sarai also in third place, but... I mean, look at this. This is just, again, a case of one player making it so far in front of everyone else. <gasps> Enigmatic misses a good cycle. Wait, Enigmatic missed a door? Oh, no. Enigmatic is through. Liquid acid. Enigmatic. That was Enigmatic's game to lose. Honestly. Commanding performance. Camden Kid tries to come in in second place, but it's a little too slow. That was too quick. That was, that was too quick. I like the ones with a lot of death. What was the one we did that had like the uh, the rotating basket at the end? We gotta look up what the good ones are that have like a lot of death in them. I'll look it up real quick. Enigmatic, congrats on your spot in the final 10, as well as your YouTube membership. Let's watch our final competitors roll in right here as I Google search for marbles on stream best maps. Marbles on stream maps, lots of death. That's what I'm Google searching right now. People are searching for no death ones? Why would you ever want that? 
Okay, that yielded no results. That's absolutely terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Dude, Chowder! Oh my god, gifting 20 subs out of nowhere, Chowder, man. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Jeez, Chowder. Dude, I really appreciate that. Chowder, of all people, you're going to need to hear this uh, this PSA. I This is my last Twitch stream, man. I'm streaming on YouTube after this for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, you can check out the YouTube video I posted on it. But yeah, that's uh, that, that, dude, that's so generous. Thank you, man. Oh, did Simsy get gifted one? Is Simsy here right now? What's up, Kayla? Kayla, if you're in here, get in this. I want to see you win one of these. All right, I don't know which maps are good. <laughs> Simsy got gifted a sub. Nice. I got gifted one in her chat, too. Uh, let's see. Which one do we want to do? Let's pick a song first. This is how I do it. Truth and Reconciliation Suite. It's a four-minute song. Jeez. Okay. This might not be a hype song. We're going to do a long one. The Boomerang. Average completion time, five minutes and 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? Oh, I started it way too soon. Oh, this is like the original Halo game. Oh god, this is gonna be hype. All the original Halo songs are bangers. Alright, our players are piling in right now. This is race number, what is this, seven? Race number seven. You got four more chances to qualify. I didn't, yeah, I was gonna say, I, that wasn't a guarantee that she's here, but we're streaming with her on uh, Saturday. All right. We're at 61 people. We're starting this race. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Vroom, vroom, indeed, Blade. Our racers are off. What is happening right now? Why does everyone have a one over their th themselves right now? I don't know what the ones are, but our competitors are off to the races in the boomerang. Dude, what is this map? Why does everyone have a one over them right now? Everyone type one in the chat if you're excited for the one over your head. I don't know. All right. Looks like Jess finds their way into an early lead. Four out of five also after suffering a great defeat in one of the earlier races. Also one of our front runners, Justo, in first place. These marbles are zooming. I can barely even keep up with them. Blade in the front runners though as well, of course. He's good at every game that he plays. In the very last place is DJ Lele, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh my gosh, it's laps. There's three laps of this race. Who would have guessed? Maya Sim in first place now. Five, four out of five also towards the front. We've got Hayori Chi also towards the front. Blade Diamond also in our top five as we finish up the first lap. Oh, I see what the ones are now. I understand. It's for round one. I'm finally doing the boomerang. Go, baby. Go, go, go. PCG Matt, Nick Buck, DJ Lele all in last place. Hit the camera. Hits a sick 360 as Di Diamond Plex, Diamond X plays in first place now. Blade not too far behind. Boiled Milk also towards the front. Real Spank 001. Angry Goose all in the front. This is just going to be an absolute marathon. This, this is more of a sprint, really. This is an absolute sprint. Got to take the racing line, of course. This is going to come down to like the final, the final optimizations. Look at it on the scoreboard. Look how cool that is. See yourself on the camera. Say hi to YouTube. Real Spank 001 in first place as we finish up the second lap here, but it is still anyone's game because Angry Goose has some more momentum. Boiled Milk, Llama Bunny, Real Spank, and Maya all in our top five, but Blade is not out of this race yet. He wants victory. We're going to see how optimal these competitors can run this final lap as they continue to move forward down the racetrack now. Got so many people still so close yet so far away as Angry Goose is in first place here. Angry Goose has not yet won a marble race. It would be deserved. Boiled Milk hugs the line. Angry Goose seems to take a, this corner a little bit rougher than Boiled Milk. That could have cost him the entire race. But Maya actually of all people finds her way from third into first. Rounding the final corner right now. Ice Cream Man also towards the front. Oh it's going to come down to a photo finish. Let's see what it is. Maya Sim in first place. Angry Goose has more momentum. Is it going to be enough? Oh my god! Angry Goose at the last second pulls ahead of Maya. Would you believe that Angry Goose has come in first place and has ascended? Oh my god, dude. That one was way more hype than I thought it was gonna be. Dude, what in the world? Angry Goose, let's get it. <laughs> Angry Goose takes the seventh place spot. In our finals. Dude, that was actually... I had no idea how close that was at the end. Wow. 
Oh, man. <clears throat> Jeez, that's wild. Behold a Pale Horse is what we're going to do this song. All right, let's, uh, let's pick some maps closer to the top again. Let's do Cosmic Chaos. That one seems fun. <laughs> Mom, I got seventh place. I'm a celebrity. All right, come one, come all. These are the three final races that we're going to have for your chance to get entered into the Unsurpassable Z merch giveaway, as well as if you come in first in any of these races, you will get a guaranteed YouTube membership once I start streaming from YouTube. Space map, let's get it, baby. We love the scenery. It's got chaos in the name, which I hope has a bunch of different uh, chances for disaster. We are starting with 65 marbles in the finale here. Not the finale, just another race. I don't know why I said finale. Three, two, one. Oh my god, I was like, I hope this isn't a boring one. And then it's got all that. Again, our competitors starting with the very ever so familiar belly button. And they're all going down, down, down to belly button town. Royal Rumpus seems to catch a really good cycle. He, he is the very first one out. Look at that. Bobby Joe is taken also in second. Camden Kid in third. Blue Banjos in fourth. And M finally not in dead last. Let's check in who is in dead last. Amber. So sorry to hear that. We got Royal Rumpus hitting the first loop. Bobby Joe also all of our competitors now at this point in the loop-de-loop. -loop. The loop-de-loop -loop and pool. That's a double. Royal Rumpus going to enter the triple loop. Is Royal Rumpus going to be able to find that fourth loop with any ease or is Royal Rumpus somehow going to get lost? Royal Rumpus has no difficulty. Paths merging back together again and we finally start to get an idea of how far ahead Royal Rumpus is ahead of everyone else I was going to say. But just as I say that, Bobby Joe is taken. It's a fantastic boost and I'm missing all of the action now because I'm too far away. I got to hit one to catch up to our first place person. Go! Go to one! Go to one! How do I catch up? I'm going to miss the whole race, dude. Oh my god. I was panicking. I was panicking. Who's in first place? I don't know what happened to, to, to Joe, but now Blue Banjos is in first place. Camden is in second. It's neck and neck right here for this first place position. A bunch of different obstacles here. Could slow down a lot of the momentum that our front runners have, though, and give someone else a chance to catch up. Camden dodges the last of the pegs and starts to go into this very final home stretch. Camden has no trouble making their way across the space bridge. Hits a couple of bumps, but this shouldn't be too bad. Actually, as I say that, though, this looks like a very, very bad cycle. Someone could go down the side, or someone like Blue Banjos could catch with a lot of speed. Anyone that runs down the side could take over here. It's still Camden in the front, but it's a crawl to victory. Jesto wants it so bad. Jesto is right there. Tries to find the way around the outside. Jesto does find that way around the outside. <gasps> but bumps Camden Kid. Oh my god. Camden Kid gets bumped. Oh my god. What's it going to be? Camden Kid. Oh my god, Camden. You can't play with my emotions like that. Jess was so, so close to catch it up. Camden so close to throwing but did manage to survive. And in the very back, we've got Devo and Lerpa Hartman and down with Comcast. Oh, Lerpa, you have not been doing very good for most of these races. I am so sorry. And look who also has not been doing very good for most of these races. I'm so sorry. Lerpa and Keen spending every race in the back of the pack having a nice little stroll. <laughs> she said, stop. Oh my God. Devo, take your time, man. That's fine. We don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I like in marbles, I can be toxic to you guys because it's like nothing that you can control. So I can just be mean, but it's not actually mean. <clears throat> very nice, very, very nice. Alienated. Another space one. Two races left until our finals. My voice is really starting to go. A very cool UFO circles overhead. My god, that UFO just, like, confused me. I didn't know what was happening. Alright, only 53 people in right now. It looks like uh, people are a little bit more hesitant to try to get in. Guys, I promise. There is still a chance for you to win. Every round, you have an equal chance of getting that absolute dub. 
and getting entered in for the grand prize. All hope is not lost, but we are going to start this race. 59 competitors now. A couple people squeezing in at the very last second. Angry Goose barely finds his way in there. Wants to try to secure a second spot in the finals. On the map alienated, we have 61 of the fiercest competitors all starting at the same time. And Galaxy Mouse is not here to play. Galaxy Mouse is here to glitch outside of the map. Unbelievable. Galaxy Mouse is going to have to be investigated for that one. I doubt that that one is going to pass inspection. Dude, what is happening with Galaxy Mouse? All right, moving on from that. Dog Dee Doo finds their way down the right-hand path as well as a bunch of other people. But the leader of our left hand... Dude, Galaxy Mouse... I've oh, that's the record. Galaxy Mouse is not playing right now. I repeat, that is the record. And that ghost is broken, so Galaxy Mouse is not actually in first. It is the unknown who is in first place on this side. But Boiled Milk is in first place on this side. Bobby Joe is taken. Had a very promising start last time. Dog Dee Doo starts to flirt with danger a little bit. Definitely could have flown off the map there. You gotta be careful with that. We're entering the farmland right now. How appropriate, given that this map is the alien map. A couple of aliens may or may not be living inside of the silo right here, but all that I do know is that Bobby Joe is taken is getting slowed down by the corn just a little bit. Budlers, I've given Budlers a really hard time in the past for their performance at the back of the pack, but Budlers looks to be our front runner for this race. Could this be the ultimate experience? The unknown is being forcibly ascended right now, getting absolutely captured by a UFO that is going to hurt the time and it is going to hurt the brain and no one is going to believe you that it happened. Budlers still in first place on the right hand side bloop seems to be have the leader of the left hand side with audrey right behind uh but butler's now also still getting continuously bullied by this ufo barely dodges that and uh butler's leader of that side oh this is another one of these final finishes where it's never over until it is over you're gonna have to get here fast but you're also gonna have to get here during the correct cycle and it looks like butler's is gonna be on pace to miss but it looks like bloop may be in a position where they might be okay Oh, is it going to stay for Butlers? It does not stay for Butlers! The route moves off to the side and Butlers falls to their death. And Bloop misses it by an inch! Unbelievable! Oh my god, it would have been random carrot, but it goes back to the side. Is it Dog Dee Doo? It is Dog Dee Doo! Dude, hit the rim! Hit the absolute rim! God, you can't make that up. That is punishing. Oh, sweet walrus man in the sky trying to make a nice little shortcut, but doesn't work out. You already know why I'm flying this camera over here. It's time to bully a fellow streamer. Brandigan in the very back of the pack starts pushing forward with absolute pride. Wants to go for the gold, even though he is in dead last and has easily performed worse than every other person in this race. Brandigan gets caught up on the pegs to add some insult to injury. Brandigan making his way through the pegs ever so slightly. He hits the boost going in for the final race and what other way to finish it other oh i was gonna say other than a quick death but brandon i i take it back you finished with honor good job all right dog d do is our ninth competitor ladies and gentlemen you have one final chance to get in here one final chance to qualify <clears throat> it is anyone's game Anyone has a chance. We have had no repeat winners yet. And you know, for that reason, I'm going to ask, if you've already qualified, I will ask you to not play the next round. Out of respect for those that have not yet qualified. No one has qualified twice yet. I'd like to have 10 separate people. We're doing the paperclip. It's a quick one. All right, this song is called This Is Our Land. That sounds sick. Oh, no, this is we did this one already. This is Boomerang. No, bad map. Bad map for the final one. Got to pick a good map. Few will survive. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> there we go. Now you guys can get your exclamation point plays in. It all comes down to this one final attempt. Oh, I started the music too soon. Okay, I'm ready. 54 competitors are in. Make it 55, make it 57. Couple of people want their shot at victory. And that shot is going to be given to you right now. <clears throat> I always lose my voice when we do marbles. Three, two, one. 
Good luck. Have fun to all. Potentially the final belly button of the night. Competitors making their way around. Blue Banjus finds some separation, as does down with Comcast. Gen Bun also towards the front. Random Carrot absolutely lost in space at this moment. Down with Comcast. Blue Banjus. Ryomi's Gen Bun all towards the front. Will PK also somewhat towards the front, but down with Comcast. Is our first person out of the belly button. Blue Banjos, Ryomi's, Will PK, not too far behind. That is a brutal first obstacle. Getting caught up quite a bit. Blue Banjos does not hit a good cycle. Neither does Ryomi's. Will PK, however, does hit the good cycle. Is Will PK going to... Oh my god, look at this commanding lead. Look how far ahead Will PK is. Although, as I say that, I didn't realize how close DJ Lele, Trashicle, Lil Molly, and Maddie Moo are. Oh... Oh no, Will hits a bad cycle here, and DJ Lele takes over as our front runner. But would you look at that? A couple of our competitors fell short, and they're in a different area now. But it looks like DJ Lele is flying to the end, hits the rim! Oh my god, takes the dangerous path and hits the rim at the very end. Will PK also has too much speed. It could be anyone right now. Koji also flying through the middle path, absolutely faster, but too... Too risky, potentially? It could be. Oh my god, it's anyone's game. I, I can't even commentate this, dude. Someone's in there! Into the KSR! Into the KSR out of absolutely nowhere! Gets launched into the finale! I have no idea how that just happened. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Could you imagine? DJ Lele doinked off the rim. She was so far ahead of everyone else. But ultimately, went just a little too wide. And I don't even know how KSR ended up taking that win home. Wow, what a finish. Random Carrot had, had such a bad start. And it was very obvious as it has stuck with them. Blue Banjos, smell you later. You're off the map. That's okay. That's okay, Random Carrot. You go when you're ready. <clears throat> Few will finish is true. I think only 17 of our 58 competitors managed to survive that one. And that means that we are on to our final round. Ladies and gentlemen, it has all come down to this. We're playing on the very long map. Where is it? The one with the eight minute average completion time. Is it dangerous? I don't know if, it, if it's dangerous or not. I can't find it. Let's do a, a dangerous one. Are these red ones dangerous ones? Or are they ones we've played before? <laughs> you do not, Matt, sorry. I don't even know if that was the last time we did marbles. Uh, let's see if the factory is dangerous. We're gonna do a simulation. This is how this works. We do simulation, and then I add names manually. Here's everyone that was in here last time. Got some OG names in there. We got Audrey. Linda Ann. Third. What's her face? Fourth. Jam and Jimmy. How could we forget? Our fifth competitor. Miss Mags. Oh my god, that song is way too hyped to put the names in. Miss Mags. Number 10. Enigmatic. I said number 10. Number 7. Angry Goose. Camden at number 8. Number nine, Doggy Doo. Oops, put Dodgy Doo. And finally, number 10, of course, into the KSR. Let me make sure that's 10. Name count 10, perfect. Unbelievable. It has all come down to this. This is the special round for the 10 winners. The person that comes in first place is going to have their choice at anything out of the merch store, including a sweatshirt. Whatever their heart so desires. Second place will get a t-shirt. Let's get into it. Let's get some hype, guys. Cheer on your favorite person. 
I don't know how you could have a favorite person when it's just like random marbles races, but I'm cheering for Jim and Jimmy. God, I love that guy. Oh, I hit start race. There's no countdown. Oh my God, there's no countdown. Okay. Here we go. We are underway. What's her face makes their way into first place. Miss Mags also follows close behind into the KSR. One of our, uh, our most recent winner. All of our competitors are going to start off by falling down, but then rising back up and falling down once again into the dojo. Looks like Enigmatic, What's Her Face, and Miss Mags all relatively close to each other in the front of the pack, but Enigmatic emerges before any of the others do. Is that momentum going to carry for the rest of this race? Holy, I am not excited for that. Enigmatic, in first right now, in absolute dead last, is Dog Dee Doo. But honestly, with, a, with an obstacle like this ahead, it is anyone's game. Enigmatic hits a decent cycle. Let's see if Miss Mags and What's Her Face get in on the same cycle. They do. They're able to stay neck and neck. Enigmatic starting to ascend. Angry Goose in fourth place. Audrey in sixth. Camden in fifth. Our competitors now actually much closer now. And as I say, the Enigmatic had a little bit of trouble on the elevator. And it looks like What's Her Face has now taken over in first place. Our competitors are dodging all of the hammers. I can't fly in there. Oh god, I can't see. I'm trying to see it. Enigmatic survives. What's Her Face survives without any difficulty. And now they're hitting boost pads. It looks like Angry Goose is stopping for a sick 360. That's awesome. Bonus points for that. Unfortunately, you don't get any time saved, though. Enigmatic and Audrey both launched into the funnel. Enigmatic had a very, very clean transition and managed to stay alive. That is very impressive. Although Enigmatic did get caught up on a peg at the end. Oh, no. What's-her-face comes into first place. Camden in second. Things are falling apart for Enigmatic. Into the Kesar. Tries a skip. <gasps> he did. Enigmatic. Wait, did he? Into the Kesar, yeah. Into the Kesar, skipped a whole two tiers and found his way into the next tier. He's now ahead of everyone else, but has less momentum. Is that going to be enough? I take it back, not actually ahead of What's-Her-Face, but definitely saved some time there. What's-Her-Face in first place. Now we're looking like we're getting into our last couple obstacles. What's-Her-Face absolutely flies into this obstacle, but gets caught up a little bit. Is anyone going to get a better cycle? Camden has trouble. Kesar has trouble. Enigmatic has some trouble. Audrey also having a little bit of trouble. What's-Her-Face makes it very cleanly through that final obstacle, and it looks like it's going to be it for What's-Her-Face. Enigmatic in second place. It looks like our final two winners. What's-Her-Face comes in first. First, and Enigmatic comes in second. GG. Well played. Unbelievable. Dog Dee Doo absolutely flies off into the atmosphere in one final attempt and just rage quits off the map. It's not good enough for Dog Dee Doo. Jam and Jimmy died so long ago he wasn't relevant in the first place. Linda Ann and Angry Goose closing us out here. But that is going to do it for our competitors. Congratulations to What's Her Face and Enigmatic for their top two finishes. All of these people will be given a YouTube membership as soon as I start streaming on YouTube, but What's Her Face and Enigmatic walking away with some merch. Wow. What? What a time. What a time. All right. Uh, let me just write that down for myself real quick so I remember who to message. Boom and boom. Cool. All right, hey, that's it for marbles. Can you believe it? That was wild. That was a wild time. We've got one more thing on the schedule though, so don't worry. One more 20 minute fiasco before we go crazy. Oh God, turn my regular music down. Hey, good job everyone, that was a lot of fun. Wow. <laughs> a bunch of, there was a pole running right there. Love that. Yeah, so Amber said, do we just uh, follow your YouTube channel? Yeah, if you're subbed to the YouTube channel, then you will. Uh, you should get live notifications. I actually don't know how notifications work, but I stream at a really consistent schedule. And so that should hopefully be enough. It's, uh, it's Saturday at noon Eastern is our next stream. So seven and a half hours before I started this stream uh, is our first YouTube stream. And then it's Mondays, Thursdays at 7.30 Eastern as well. Did I misspell your name? Dog D do. I misspelled it, then I fixed it. What are you talking about Kappa? Oh. I don't know. Can you guys still hear me? I just Alt F4 out of my Streamlabs.